In this video, we review Azure Premium SSD version 2 disks. Hello everyone, I'm Travis and this is Raldos. In this video, we're going to review the new Premium SSD V2 managed disks that recently became generally available in Azure. Before that, please like, subscribe, and share with a friend. Click the bell icon for notifications of new content and check out my courses on Azure Virtual Desktop, Windows 365 and Intune Management, and Hybrid Identities with Windows AD and Enter ID. The links are below. And thank you channel members, your support is appreciated. Back to it, there are multiple options for managed disks in Azure. This includes standard virtual disks with a hard drive or SSD option. There are also premium disks and high performance ultra disks. We're going to talk about a new premium option, Premium SSD V2. We'll compare them with premium managed disks to distinguish the difference. Before we get into that, let's take a quick minute to review two terms related to disk performance, IOPS and throughput. IOPS stands for input output per second and measures the number of transactions that can pass through a disk. IOPS are how many reads or write operations can take place in a second. Throughput measures the amount of data that can transfer to or from a disk in any given amount of time. Throughput measures the amount of data that can be processed. Both are important measurements of storage performance, but measure performance differently. Let's think of a couple examples to illustrate the point. Say we have an application that needs to read and write a lot of small files quickly. IOPS may be the more important measurement of performance for this application. If we had to read or write a small number of large files, a video streaming application, for example, throughput may be more important. The most important measurement depends on the system or application's requirements. Next, let's talk about sizing for capacity and performance. And stay with me, this is going to be important when we get to premium SSD v2 disks. Back in the olden days before the cloud, we stored data on disk arrays. These were a bunch of disk drives we could pool together to create large logical disks. Let's say we had an application that had a small but very critical database. We need 2000 IOPS for a 20 gig database. In this example, the disks in the array are 25 gigs and 150 IOPS each. For size, one 25 gig disk would be sufficient, but we also need 2000 IOPS. One disk is enough for capacity, but doesn't meet the 2000 IOP performance requirements. In order to get the 2000 IOPS, we need to pool 14 disks. That's 350 gigs of disk space to accommodate the IOP requirement of a 20 gig database. That's an example of sizing for performance, not capacity. We have to look at characteristics beyond capacity to meet the performance requirements of the database. And the additional space can't be used for anything else because that may impact the available IOPS. By the way, I'm not factoring in RAID penalties or any other advanced storage configurations for this example. I'm keeping the math simple to illustrate the point. Anyway, with Azure Storage, we have a similar situation. We'll use the same 20 gig and 2000 IOP database for this example. If we size that for a capacity, we could get a premium P4 32 gig disk for the database, but that's limited to 120 IOPS and 25 megabytes of throughput. There is bursting capacity on a P4 disk, but there's limits on bursting. And I'm going to assume for this example that the database needs a constant 2000 IOPS. To get that, we need to go with a P20 disk. Here, we're sizing on performance, not capacity. We'll have 512 gigs of disk space, but only need 20 gigs for the database. That leads me to the number one advantage of the premium V2 disks. With premium SSD V2, we can select size, IOPS, and throughput independently of each other. We can select a disk that meets our capacity and performance requirements. The premium SSD V2 disk can be sized from one gigabyte to 65 terabytes in one gig increments. They have a baseline IOPS of 3000 and scale to 80,000. They have a baseline of 125 megabits per second of throughput and scale up to a peak of 1200 megabits per second. Size, IOPS, and throughput can be set independently of each other, meaning we can size capacity and performance. The premium SSD V2 managed disks are intended for applications running on IaaS VMs that have specific performance requirements. Premium V2 has some limitations. The first one is a big one. They can't be used for an OS disk, only a data disk. However, for databases and other applications hosted on IaaS servers, there's still a significant advantage to premium SSD V2 disks. 
There are some other limitations at the time of this recording. They can be encrypted at the host, but not with Azure Disk Encryption. They can't attach to VMs in an availability set, and Azure Site Recovery is not supported on host with premium V2 disks. Azure Backup Support is in preview. The VM and the managed premium SSD V2 disk must be in the same region and availability zone. Also, they can't be expanded without first deallocating the VM or detaching the disk, and premium V2 disks are not available in every region. Be sure to reference the documentation to verify these are still limitations if you're considering premium V2 disks. The link is below. Coming up, we're going to use the pricing calculator to review the cost difference between premium and premium SSD V2 disks, and then create one in the portal. Let's jump into the Azure pricing calculator to get started. Here we are at the pricing calculator. Let's search for manage disks. We'll select manage disks. That adds a manage disk to the estimate. For this example, let's say we need one terabyte of disk space and 15,000 IOPS for a high performance database. Let's look at our options for premium disks first. We'll set the region to West US 2. and change the tier to premium SSD. We'll leave redundancy to locally redundant storage. Now we need a terabyte of space. So we could select a P30. That will give us the space we need. The pay as you go price without factoring in any reserved instances or any other features is $122 per month. But that doesn't meet all of our needs. We've got a terabyte of space, but we also require 15,000 IOPS. And although there is an option to burst, for this example, we want a pretty consistent 15,000 IOPS. So let's find a disk that will accommodate that. A P60 gives us 8 terabytes of space and 16,000 IOPS. The price changed, though, to $860 a month. We need the IOPS, but we don't need the space. This is another example of sizing for performance. It's more important that we get the IOPS we require than the space. So that's a premium SSD. Let's add another managed disk. We'll use the same region, West US 2. This time we'll select premium SSD V2. Let's specify the space. We want a terabyte, so we'll do 1024 gigs. The storage cost alone is $82. For the IOPS, we'll change it to 15,000. And for the throughput, we'll change that to 500. We haven't really talked about throughput, but that matches the throughput of the P60 disk. The price for the premium SSD V2 that meets our requirements is $158. We're able to get the size and performance we need at a price that's $700 less than if we used a P60 premium SSD. That's a great example of why the V2 is a good option. Let's see what it looks like to configure a disk. We'll hop over to the Azure portal. We'll create a new VM and go to disks. Notice that the VM is in an availability zone. Premium SSD V2 requires an availability zone. We won't create this VM, we're just going to review how to configure the data disks. First, we have the OS disk type, but we can't change that because the V2 isn't an option for the OS disk. We can scroll down though and create a new data disk. We get the default size of a premium SSD. Let's change the size. There are the size and performance options for the premium SSD. Let's change the storage type to premium SSD V2. We'll leave the size set to the one terabyte, change the IOPS to 15,000, and we'll change the throughput to 500. Click OK, and that changes the disk type. One item to note, since we're talking about databases, we have two options for sector size. The database you're using may have a recommendation on the logical sector size. Consult the database or application documentation for recommended sector size. Getting this right when you create the disk may offer significant performance benefits. What option is best depends on the application 
for the database you're using. We'll click OK. And now we have a premium SSD V2 data disk attached to this VM. If you need to attach a disk to an existing VM, you can search for Manage Disks. We'll click OK. We don't need this. Under Basic for the Manage Disk, notice the region and the availability zone. Make sure that's set to the same region and zone as the VM the disk will attach to. Let's change the size of the disk. And we get the same option to change it to a premium SSD V2. Finish the wizard to create the premium SSD V2 disk. And then once finished, you can attach this disk to an existing VM. That is how to price and create a premium SSD V2 disk in Azure. I hope that helps you better understand the new premium SSD V2 managed disks. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.